Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the team star bases. I think this means you decide decide to join my operation. Yep. Thank you. This your official member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second, huh? Oh. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? How do you do, fellow kids? What? Who are you? Uh, oh, come on! You're actually falling for that disguise? <laughs> the name's Clive. S stylish old man. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend, isn't that right, Wilf? Uh, I guess, maybe? <laughs> ah, sorry as ever, I see. <laughs> They've talked about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can just join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to talk out some unsolved business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Mm. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that sells it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each one of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gate of one of those bases right now, in fact. Yep, I see it right there. Ah, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base, I... Well, I one of your targets. A squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. Someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle. They have no choice but to accept. And what's more, they just so happen to lose that battle. They must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Wolf. They're basically a declaration of war. Um, now all the time Team Star knows that we're looking for fights. You did that without my permission? So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from them, their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to relate them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. What do you mean? Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the base themselves are several sides, okay? Your gun variety trail will be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are central to this, to this operation, love. My skills? To defeat the Pokemon inside the base, and drag out the boss just from where they're hiding. Okay? First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out the, in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Okay? Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor ba the base and act as little support, okay? You're a cautious one, alright? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting help there. Right? Well, go get him, Wolf! Director Clavel? <laughs> I have no idea what you mean, but if I want to ask this you about me, remember this. I'm Clive. A normal can be soon, just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. 
Sure, sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. Don't quell real quick, like I'll have to come at you in self defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right. Time for me to self defense. That's not right, are ya? Let's do this. <laughs> Go, puppy! Wait, whoa! I might be a bit under leveled for this one. Um... Yeah, I do. What a boss. Turbo <laughs> called. She wants her hair back. Oh, that's no good. Maybe I'm not ready for this yet. Ready for this yet? I'd find myself right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who had one team, sir? Call me Lilith. Whoa! Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it to the rest of my crew. A Salami Star! Here told me to scope out the fire through his base. Well, I come give some backup now, that crew, but seems you're all set. Ooh, foo. What? Eh? What the? What is that? That you, Charles? I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charles, the charge headed. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its ground. Hmm? Ah! Charles! Wait! He ran off. I can have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup you soon enough. Keep his head into the base, Lilith. Um... Hmm? I see you don't with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Uh-huh. Fish inside the base of Team Star's fire crew. Get your ass squad. Their boss, Mella, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Their methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. But even now, her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase into operation. Time to wait. Wipe the skills spot off the map. Um. Yeah. I don't think I'm ready for this. So for now, I'll head back to the academy. 
Greetings, I'm Hazel. I'll be teaching art in this art class. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Now let me be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learn in this class once you graduate. Aww. No, you don't even need a basic understanding of art, but much less a refined appreciation of beauty for most exams or jobs. So is my class supposed to charm you then? I think not. At least I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty anyway? What makes something beautiful? I have the whole. Ah! <laughs> Interesting. Thank you, love. Oh, I don't mean to suggest there's a correct answer, my great. The important thing is that you take. Time to think about it. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower blooming on the side of the road, for example. Question why the sky is a shade of different shade of blue than the ocean, or why leaves change color. Ponder oh. the windmills of ads on how they move. Windmills do not work that way! Complete the chilling bite of the words of Cass. Cass of Kaffa. There. I'm sure you'll find every detail of your lives will seem more vivid or impactful. Just take a moment to stop and think. I'm certain that if you stop and really appreciate the little views of this world, you'll pull through the days where your studies have you exhausted when work has damped your spirits. Ah, do pardon me for waxing philosophical. You don't need to answer all that now. You put simply. It is true that one doesn't need art to survive, but some makes surviving much more enjoyable. It's my hope that this class will add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time, we'll try a more hands-on approach to be shanky. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope? <laughs> Do a pill, Salvador. Salvatore. My name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup. That is, thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm so here or happy, or happy for this chance to re-experience my young days with you all. You know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So just imagine, I'm here to save you from spooky new languages. Ha! <laughs> Funny, no? That's right. My class will teach you about various languages from different regions. You may say good morning or hello as a green or people from elsewhere may say bonjour or hello. I thought there's a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says hello, 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 ciao and bonjour. There's so many regions out there in the world and each can have their own unique, unique language. Gracias, merci, zezi, arigato, danke. These all have the same meaning. Can you guess what it is? Thank you. I... I recognize most of those. Whoa! Lilith, was it? Blah, blah, That's correct. And speaking up is an important... Important in language learning too. Gracias, merci, it's easy. These ones all mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those. <laughs> despite, despite being the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? And now, a pause of nothing, let me give you all one my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as can, even if you can't speak it very well. I'm sure you're willing to try to make the people you, you meet so tough. Very happy. Also, from my experience, let me up to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the language will get you pretty far. Konnichiwa! Oichi! Arigato! Yeah, I'm all set for Japan. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and just your away. <laughs> oh, there's that pesky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. Well, adios, bye, day. Ala pomashi. See you later, everyone.